Right, so in this video, what we're going to look at is some page numbering. So page numbering in Zan is, is pretty easy, really. You just have to put a little special character on certain pages. Now, those pages are the master pages. So everything that we do with page numbering that's controlled is always done on a master page. Okay, so at the minute, we've created two master pages in this document. So we need to have basically have a special character on each of these master pages and that will dictate and tell us where we want the page numbering on the page throughout the document. Okay, so it's, it's fairly straightforward, but it is a little bit long-winded, so it might be worth watching this video a couple of times, or we'll just take a note of where we get the page numbering um, special character from. So, first of all, I go into the master page. If you remember from the last video, double-click on my A master there. Turn my guides back on. So I know I'm in my A master, it says A master at the bottom corner there. And I'm just going to choose where I want my page numbering to be. So let's go right down to the bottom corner of this document here, because this is where I want my page number to be, just, just down here. So page number is a special character, but it's a text character. Okay, so basically, every time we put a bit of text in, we need to have a text frame to carry that text. So it's no different when we're looking at page numbering. So I choose my type tool, and I'm just going to click and drag to make a text box there, a text frame, sorry. So I've got my cursor flashing within that text frame and I'm on the left hand side of my A master here. So it's the bottom left hand corner of my A master master page. So to put the page numbering in, this is where it gets a little bit long winded. Type, down to insert special character, markers, current page number there. So again it's type, insert special character, markers and current page number. Okay so like I mentioned it is a little bit long winded, a bit of a long way to get there and even the shortcut really isn't that short. Look control, alt, shift and n. Okay so it's not really uh, a very quick way of doing it but once I click on that you can see it's put a little a in there and the a corresponds with the because it's on the a master okay but it is actually a special character it's not just a normal capital a it's a special character that's telling um, InDesign to put page numbering there on every page it's got an a master now this bit of text we can format it exactly how we like okay so let's go choose a different font um, Let's go for a bold font. Okay, we can change the color of it. It can be whatever we want. And let's choose a color that matches in with our document a little bit. Choose one of these greens. Okay, so essentially, I'm just playing around with it like I do with any text, changing the typography of it. But now, if I look in my Pages panel, when I come into my document, I've got page two and three, which are A master pages. I've got page one that is not attached to any master. I've got a B master pages here as well. So if I double click on page A, you can see I've got a page two numbering, because that is page two. Then it corresponds with the page number in my pages panel. Now, I won't have any page number on page three. Um, let me just come across here, look. If I come across to the other side of this spread, there's none there. Because what I need to go back up to is to the right hand side of my master spread in A, and put the same special character in again. Now, because we've already put the special character in, we don't need to go through that long-winded process. We can just copy and paste it into another position. So that's what we're going to do. Just for speed, rather than making another text frame and matching the fonts and everything like that, I can actually, on the left-hand side of my A master, I'm going to drag it. If I remember this from an earlier video. If I start to move that text frame the special character. And if I hold down on my Alt key before I let go of the mouse, you can see I'm duplicating rather than moving. So that's just holding down the Alt key when you move. Now again, this is where InDesign is brilliant really. Look, as I'm moving it into place, it's snapping with smart guys telling me everything's aligned and everything's there. So all I need to do then is double click within this text frame, highlight that special character come up to my control bar write justify there 
Okay, so now I've got the special character on the A left and the A right. So as I come down to my document now, see pages two and three, I've got page two and page three there. So now obviously when I go to pages four and five, there's no page numbering. Okay, because that's a different master page. So we need to put that special character on the B master as well. Again, I'm not going to go through that long-winded process of fire type, fire insert, special character, blah, 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 blah. I'm literally going to go onto the A master, go to my main selection tool. I'm going to choose the left-hand side one. I'm going to press shift, and I'm going to choose the left-hand side one. And I'm going to go to edit, and down to copy. Now, I'm going to double click on my B master. Again, in my master pages, none of this is in my main document. It's all within my master pages. Double click there, okay? And if you remember earlier, again, in the previous tutorial, I've gone to edit. Instead of just going to paste, I'm going down to paste in place. There, and it's actually put that in exactly the same place on the B master as it did on the A master. And you can see now as well, that's changed to B rather than A. So that num that letter corresponds with the master page there. So now, I zoom out. What I'm actually going to do is just change the colour of these as well because of more of a blue theme. So let's go to the type in my control bar. Change these special characters to blue. So it fits in with the theme of my document and then if I go through my page there we can see page two and three page two page three four and five four and five and so on and we keep adding pages in that will correspond to the actual page number now we haven't got any page number on page one because it's not attached to a master page but it still counts it in the in the page number and so see we've gone to page two and obviously it's page two and page three, so it still counts page one even though we haven't got a page number on it because it's not attached to a master page. Now we can change that if we want. If we want the page number to start on page two, so for example we want page two to be page one, if I click in the menu items of the pages panel, there's an option here that numbering and section options. So I'm going to click on that one and automatic page numbering is just on there. Now, if I want to start the page numbering at a certain page, I could choose there, start page numbering at, and I could put page two. So then on page two, the page number will be page one, and it'd increase from there. Okay, so it's quite straightforward, really, page number. It's just making that special character correct in here. And once you've placed that in, you can just copy and paste it onto any of the masters, get it in the right place, and then on all your pages, as you come through the document, the page, will, page number will increase corresponding with that page number and again if you want to change what page the numbering starts on click here numbering and section options start page number and choose the page which normally would probably be page two so if you don't want to count the first page you want to start on page two as the page number okay so we've got the flexibility to do that as well